He is an award-winning artist, a political activist, and now an author. Wyclef Jean has written his autobiography. It's called Purpose, an Immigrant Story. Welcome to the show. Thank you Great for having me. Great to have you, you thank here. Thank you, thank you. Now, you, when you, were, you grew up in Haiti, of course, yes, yep. but you left there. You went to Brooklyn. Uh -huh. What was that like? Tell us about your childhood a little bit, because your dad was a minister, right? Yes, You're a my, PK. I'm a straight PK. Shout out to all the PKs <laughs> out there. Uh, my dad came and got me from Haiti when I was nine years old, brought me to Brooklyn, mm -hmm. the, the projects of Brooklyn. Uh, of Na we was of Nazarene faith, Protestant, and when I decided that I'm going to do hip-hop, you know, uh, he turned me over to the streets, you know. Ah. Um, uh, but he basically struggled. My story's an immigrant sm story about the book. Basically, in Haiti, I was in a hut. Mm. So going from a hut to the projects, I felt like I was rich. So the idea with the whole book is no matter what you're going through and how bad you feel, somebody got it worse. So I want the kids to read my story to understand from a donkey to Ferrari. If I did that, y'all can do it too. That's a great way to put it for sure. And uh, I mean, it's, it's such a, a huge thing that happened in Haiti with the earthquake. I mean, it really just, it really gripped all of our hearts no matter where you lived. And Haiti's always just been there right in your heart with you. You started a charity. Tell us about yeah. that a little. Well, first for Haiti, for me, it goes all the way back to the Fugees. Like the original Grammys, mm -hmm. you know, I show up with a Haitian flag, I put the flag over me. Because my whole thing was I wanted to put my country on the map. You know, I used to be sitting back watching hip hop, watching Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, the way they was doing with the West Coast. Yeah. And I always wanted to do that. My book starts off with the earthquake because I landed 24 hours after the quake. So I give you like a first eye, a point of view for me landing on the ground. The hardest thing I would say for me was, uh, landing in Haiti, um, going to the streets, and then um, mm -hmm. basically uh, it was a kid, he was about to, to die, and he didn't, I knew he was going to die, but he didn't know. So he was like, um, Clef, Clef, I'm getting cold, you know, and then you look around, you see there's no ambulance, no EMS, and now what you're trying to do is you're trying to put him to sleep peacefully, and for me that was one of the hardest things to do. That must have been, and I mean, this is your hometown talking yeah. about, and this really must have been heart-wrenching and some images that really stuck with you. Yeah. Um, of course, you went and uh, ran for president in Haiti yes. in 2010. How did that go? What happened with that? I got bamboozled. Oh, tell yeah. us what happened. Actually, my second book is going to be called They Try to J. Edgar Hoover Me, and it's based, it's a political spoof. But what happened was um, they say that I didn't have five-year residency. But the case really, if that's the case, Five years prior to me running, I was already a diplomat in my country, mm -hmm. and I was already an ambassador at large. I didn't contest it because it was not about me wanting to be president of Haiti. It was about me having an urgency of seeing after the earthquake and over 52% of the population wanting to run. Um, once that happened, I backed Michelle Martelly, who is now the president of Haiti. So it worked out just fine. Think you're going to run again for president? I don't know, maybe in 20 years, you know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I know you want to write a lot of books. What, seven books I yeah, read? Yeah, I want to write seven books. Um, I love writing. I get it really from my dad, who was a minister. And my name, Wyclef John, is actually from the Reformatator. Mm -hmm. The first English Bible was written by Wyclef. So I always say, watch the name you give your kids, you know? <laughs> yeah, they can yeah. definitely stick yeah. in, definitely in our yeah. minds. And I know you're a big supporter of President Obama. You've been very vocal about that. Yeah. When you kind of look at where you've come from in Haiti and then growing up in Brooklyn, do you feel that you've accomplished the American dream? Well, my whole story in the book, Purpose, is all about the American dream. And, you know, I'm, I'm real clear because I didn't want the end, I didn't want to be on welfare if I had the choice my mama wouldn't necessarily be on welfare. But at one time, she was on welfare, right? Then she got up out of welfare, right? We went to public school. Mm -hmm. Then from public school, we got the chance to have a choice. My brother went to Boston University, Eastern Nazarene College. Once again, this is all public. This is all government funded, right? So then what happens is after that, then you get that chance to accomplish what you want. So I do believe the idea of government working with people. Now let's talk about the Fugees. How did you get your start in music? How did you hook up with Pros and, of course, Lauryn Hill? Well, the Fugees started off, I would say, last year of high school for me, like going into, about, I'm about to hit 19, and then I get a call from Pros when I'm at my dad's church, and he's like, yo, I got this group with, um, you know, it's um, with two girls. 
and one's named Lauren, one's named Marcy. So, you know, I'm young, dumb, you know, <laughs> so what I do, I, yo, how the girls look? And, uh, <laughs> and I head out to the studio, and the producer at the time, his name was Khalees Bayon. Khalees did all of the Cool in the Gang records. So everything from celebrate good times. So he was mm -hmm. the, the guy that was in the studio. And somehow when I went in the booth and cut the vocal, he was like, you know, there's a feeling, there's a vibe here. And it basically went from two guys and two girls to two guys and one girl. Mm -hmm. The other girl, Marcy, who left her parents was like, you know, Marcy have to go to college, you know. Um, it, this is this hip hop thing is not necessarily working out too well. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we got to talk about you real quick. In your book, you talk a lot about Lauren Hill. I know uh, you have to get the book to to read about that purpose. Yes, 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 yes. definitely. Likewise. Get the book to read about it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.